What's up, YouTube? Mav here, nerdsandcoffee.com, twitch.tv slash nerdsandcoffee. If you're into gaming, however, if you're into tech like I am, this video is going to be my impression of Windows Phone 8. Uh, I am using the Nokia 920 uh, for my actual hardware platform to show you Windows Phone 8 and for my actual use for Windows Phone 8. Um, but that's neither here nor there because it's the actual OS that really makes the phone that much better. Um, coming from an iOS user, primary you know iPhone guy, I, I mean I had the iPhone 5 when it came out, I had every single iPhone launch day when it came out uh, since 2007 as well as I've had many different Android phones from you know the very first uh, vanilla Android all the way up to uh, Jelly Bean which I think is the most current one right now um, so I know I I understand the different mobile OS's and I understand that my biggest like you know fear going into this Nokia uh, Lumia 920 was the actual uh, availability of apps or the ecosystem of apps that everybody uh, told me well you know you get this Windows phone bro you're gonna not have any applications you're not gonna have any uh, you know uh, you know things to look at you're gonna get through the app store within a day well uh, ladies and gentlemen I really do want to tell you that everything that I use on a daily basis with applications from you know Pandora to ESPN Facebook Twitter uh, all my emails uh, Tumblr uh, YouTube Google Music. I mean, I have my Google Music account right here, and I think that's the most amazing thing right there because I use Google Music to store all my music and play it back on pretty much any device. My computer, now my Windows Phone 8, uh, and any other Android phone that I had. Let me go ahead and exit out of this. But Amazon, I mean, I found everything that I needed to find, and one of the things was that actually kind of blew my mind and set me back is that I work for a company that does, you know, expense reports uh, at the end of the month to kind of tell you, you know, what, you know, you spent the month before. Concor. Concor is a business app that you utilize uh, to report your business expenses. It has a Windows Phone mobile app, and that was, that was, that was it right there. I understood right then and there that the Windows Phone 8 app ecosystem has come such a long distance to where, sorry about my camera not focusing, such a long distance to where that is actually on this phone. Um, we have Tumblr apps. I mean, I haven't found an app on this phone that wasn't there. I mean, a lot of people go, well, what about Instagram? Instagram is here, guys. It's uh, not an uh, actual Instagram made app, but I have one called Instance. Uh, since I don't use Instagram, I don't care to download it. I downloaded it earlier just to test it out. It worked just as the one did on my iPhone when I first had Instagram. Um, the navigation and maps on here, I can't show you an actual demonstration, but I went to Austin the other day, uh, went for a business trip, and needed a little bit of help. Busted out the Nokia. It's actually called the Here uh, Here Drive Maps or Here City Maps or whatnot. It's in beta. It was amazing. Turn-by-turn -turn navigation uh, with voice navigation, and you know it also told you, you know, with the quote-unquote city lens. I think uh, Google has uh, something similar where you can actually see uh, via like street view what's around you, and you know, say if there's a Starbucks or a Walmart or a dollar store, wherever you need to go, you can find it through the city lens. I mean, you know, one of my main complaints though. I do want to say complaints here because this is my first week using it and uh, I've been amazed, I've been astounded, I mean everything is great. I have to tell you, there's a messaging app, if you can see the little happy face like, uh, oh let me see here, I'm trying hard to, to do the lens deal, but there's a messaging app here, you can actually, it actually has all your uh, Facebook contacts, you can actually talk to all your Facebook friends here and it also incorporates your text messaging. So. That was that was something I don't, I don't know how I live without that. That was uh <laughs> that was the most innovative uh, thing that I've seen so far. I don't have to download all these different apps to make sure that I have 
a Facebook Messenger or a uh, actual text message uh, deal. I wish they would have actually incorporated Google Messaging. Um, oh, good thing I brought that up. That is something I haven't found. Google Hangouts. If you guys know a Google Hangouts alternative or something on the actual uh, mo uh, Play Store or whatever they call it, the Microsoft uh, Store here, let me know. Uh, so I can try to find that myself. I want to use uh, Google Hangouts, uh, Google Plus, stuff like that. That's something I haven't found. I think there's like a little uh, legal rift between the two companies. I'm not too sure. Um, but those are the applications I haven't found. I did find Google Music, which was amazing, and I found the YouTube apps. So that's what's most important to me right now, YouTube. Google Music and all my other applications are here. I want to talk about the hardware because Nokia is and has been a genius with what they did with this phone. I mean, yes, the iPhone, technological marvel on the way it's made. The hardware is great. You had the new HTC One. Those are all brand new phones compared to this phone that came back in November. So in November, Nokia brought out this phone. It's a little heavy. I like that. I'm a big dude. I have big, chunky hands, as you can see. Um, it's a durable, durable case. It's polycarbonate. It shouldn't scratch. However, I still did put a invisible shield on the back from Zag. If you can see it, you can't see it. It's pretty amazing. Right there, you can see it because you can see the shininess of the optic lens compared to the, you know, actual dull uh, part beside it. And that's actual the non-scratch resistant zag invisible shield but this camera guys if you're into taking uh, photos um, on the go and you want the best camera phone out there I mean my strong suggestion right now is to go with the Nokia Lumia 920 uh, some of the pictures that I have been able to snap with the lighting uh, not even messing with the lighting just snapping a picture out of nowhere and no setup such clean clean pictures guys let me see if I can find one here for you that I took recently uh, da, 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 da. Uh, we went to Austin and had some pizza at home slice if you've ever been to Austin or if you haven't been to Austin and you're looking to go into Austin uh, check out home slice pizza it's such a great great <laughs> look I was in love with everything that they had there um, I don't know if you can see the clarity right here on the camera I will post a link to this one on M Gear, but this was extremely low light with extreme detail on that pizza. I'm getting hungry right now looking at it, <laughs> but that just kind of shows you that this phone is still top notch. Uh, Windows, I mean, not top notch, but top notch camera phone. So if you're a you know you know mobile camera nut this is the phone for you there's not enough uh, customization options just yet but Windows Phone from going from Windows Phone 7 to Windows Phone 8 such amazing increase I was previously scared about not finding applications on the App Store uh, this is my first week with it I am still transitioning from being iPhone uh, primarily only using iTunes, syncing my photos and all that good stuff with iTunes and uh, Google and I have yet to have a problem because I was able to sign in on Google here and grab all my contacts so uh, we're good to go this is week one with Windows Phone 8 uh, on the Nokia platform but this is my life with Nokia thank you for tuning in once again this is Mav nerdsandcoffee.com twitch.tv slash nerds and coffee if you're really interested in checking out some live uh, serious professional casual gaming uh, we play World of Warcraft Diablo 3 DayZ whatever is out there but this is my my review on Windows Phone 8 and how I have started to really really enjoy it since I use Windows 8 it's been a pleasure uh, look out for part two of this video coming within the next week thank you ladies and gentlemen this is Mav your host with the most <laughs> now I'm being a clown you guys